another thing you want to do to be more likable is save another person's face. So I forget the exact story, but there's some story where like two guys are talking about a dollar, the dollar bill. And one guy was like, you know, uh, every dollar bill after this year has an Illuminati symbol on it. Something I'm making it up. And basically the story was like, what went like this? The other guy knew he was wrong because the other guy like worked in the industry and was positive. They were at a table full of like respected adults, respected people. So in the name of not making this guy hate him, he just said, oh, I guess I was wrong. Sorry. And versus he could have gone on Google and said, look, dude, you're wrong and embarrass the guy. But what's the value in a group setting of embarrassing somebody? Don't be the person to embarrass somebody. You can always pull them aside after and be like, look, man, I don't want to like say anything for anybody, but I, I was right and I'll show you why. But don't be the person to, I owned you, bro. Unless someone's like really attacking you verbally, don't be the guy who owns somebody. Oh, I owned you. It's, it's kind of useless. There's people who are gonna hate you and I've been there. I've been the guy that people hated because I won the argument, I owned them, and now they go, I never wanna see that guy again. It's not worth it. Be the bigger man. If you have to really prove you're right, do it in private. Don't own them in front of a group of people because people will hate you for it. To learn all the secrets and tips of high achievers, follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and of course YouTube so we can help you put your goals first.